Three years ago, I did a video where I survived on restaurant leftovers for 24 hours and I had so much fun. It was from this app called Too Good To Go and it's a great app where basically restaurants can put any food that they have left over at the end of the day and you get them for like a fraction of the price that you normally would and it's so much fun and you never really know what you're gonna get. It can be really good or it can be really bad but I have been requested by a lot of you to do this again and see how Too Good To Go has changed because there's so many more cafes, restaurants, bakeries that are on the app now um, and you can get so many different things. Come with me, I'm gonna go to London and we're gonna see what we can get for Too Good To Go for a whole day. Let's go. We are off to our first destination, which is a hotel for breakfast. Now, the breakfasts are normally, the best places you wanna go to are hotel breakfast buffets because I did that last time and I literally got so much. It's a joke. On the app, you can actually see at the bottom that they have little reviews of um, what the places are like and how much you get. And this one has 4.3, which is quite high. So I don't know if they're just like gonna give me a box and then I can fill it up or yeah, I don't know. I'm quite excited to see what offerings I'm gonna get. So the first pickup stop was at Citizen M Hotels for our breakfast. Can I just say, very nice little hotel. It had this cool little seating area. Anyway, we scanned our code and then they gave us our box and a little pastry. And I'm hungry. I'm ready to take on the day. It's just got a little bit soggy in here. Um, up first, we've got this lovely little pastry. Now, I do wish I could have picked the pastry because I'm not a pan of raisin girl. You know me, chocolate through and through, pan of chocolate, chocolate twist. I don't know if normally you get different pastry. I don't know if they always just give the pan of raisin or it's probably as the saying goes, it's probably just what they have left over. So we've got the pan of raisin. Let's give her a little. That is a good pan of raisin. It's got like a really good filling. You know that like custardy creme pack kind of bit. Oh my gosh, it's so flavorful. Not dry in the slices. I thought potentially that the pastry was gonna be dry because obviously it's been left out all morning and this is like the dregs of it. So I thought this might not be very good, but if the pan raisin is anything to go off, then I'm very excited to see what we have in this hot box. I did think that they were gonna let me fill it up because I just thought it seems like a logical thing to do, but I'm just gonna get a plate because I feel like this is gonna go everywhere. It's smelling like pure bacon. I love a breakfast buffet. I actually haven't been to a breakfast buffet in such a long time. I really, like I have, you know, and I and one of the things I've been watching on YouTube shorts is people on their holidays in like Thailand, in like the Seychelles, all of these luxury breakfast buffets and it just, it's eye opening it. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. It feels really soggy. Oh my goodness, are you joking me? This is, come and have a look at this. Okay, so this is what we've got. We've got some tomato, some mushrooms. These sausages look so good. This bacon looks good. We've got some egg. And I feel like underneath, I'm hoping that there might be a hash brown lurking. This is such good value for money. What the actual heck? They've given us a little fork, but I actually just think I'm gonna. This is so good. And these little mushrooms and tomatoes look like such good mushrooms and tomatoes. Sometimes at breakfast buffets, I've been to places and their mushrooms are just like almost cooked in water and they're really not good. But this is good. What the heck? I'm apprehensive about the egg. I never go for egg in a breakfast buffet. It's got little chives in it. It's got flipping chives. And I'm very happy because I like my sausages really crispy. They have to be brown, almost black for me. I like it when it has that bite and these look like such good sausages. This is way better than the first time that we did this. Okay, so for the breakfast box and the panorazium, five pound, which I feel like is quite expensive. But at the same time, it's London. This is such good value. Like you're getting three sausages, all that bacon, the eggs, the tomatoes, the mushrooms, a croissant, a pastry. The pastry alone in London normally is about three pound. I'm really impressed so far. So I'm gonna have this and then we are gonna go out and get a sweet treat for the morning. They're very kindly given very clear instructions on where the um, places that you need to go to pick up. Okay, so it was in there, really flipping lovely. And I've got my little bag of goodies. I want to look in it now, but I'm not any. I'm going to be restrained. I really want to see what they've given me. So, 
I just got back from my adventures to Baked by Steph. Now, if you've never seen Baked by Steph before, they are essentially a little biscuit icing company and they're so good. Their stuff is so cool. And I kind of like, I kind of always wanted to get little favors made for the wedding, but I think it's quite expensive. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. But I've seen their Instagram, go and have a look at some of the work they do. They're so talented. And it was weird because when I went to go and get the stuff, it kind of looked like I was going into a place which was like making clothes and stuff. But obviously, so I walked by it first of all, and then a woman popped out and was like, you're looking for too good to go back? And I was like, yeah. She's like, it's here. And it's because it's all bakery stuff, but they're like painting it. And it's, it's quite expensive. But again, it's like all handmade and a lot of artistry has gone into that now i did drop this bag on the way home um so i don't know if they're going to survive but um you pay 10 pounds and they give you an array of goodies they said they were only going to give two but we have a few more than two here we're just going to have to deal with the knocking because i need to try these so we've got our first one here now i did have a peek at one of these i can't remember what one i peeked at this is the first one and it says fries before guys i kind of like it because it's like a card it's like an edible card that you can give your friends i also love this because it makes you try things that you wouldn't normally try and makes you aware of brands that you wouldn't normally be aware of this is the next one let's see do they only do vanilla cookies or like is there a chocolate one because i'd love that this is the next one it says you still my duvet and my heart I feel like actually I should give this one to flipping Banksy because her fur gets ripping everywhere. But this is really flipping cute. And then we have a big boy. This one is the vegan vanilla biscuit. So let's see what we've got in here. Oh, sweet. I love you. This is a really flipping cute. I feel like I want to save that and give it to someone, but at the same time, I want to eat it. Isn't it cute? So it's pink and it's got these like little gold splatters on it so sweet and then as i was walking out she said i put a few extra macarons in there but they have come from the freezer so you've got to wait for them to go to room temp so we've got some little macarons i guess these are from east i reckon that'll be a hot cross bun flavor one let's see if these are good or not i feel like that's really fun if you want to try a new brand but you don't want to spend the money that it normally is all of that was 10 pounds which I feel like it's so worth it. I don't know what flavour they are. Let's try the pink one. That's really good. I feel like it's got a flavour. I feel like it's strawberry. It literally tastes like a hot cross bun. These are so good. I feel like these are better than the flipping macarons I had in Paris. Now the last one we're going to try is the blue one. Because obviously blue is my favourite colour. And I would think blue just makes everything better. I feel like it's... <gasps> I think it's going to be like chocolate or chocolate hazelnut. That literally tastes like straight up mini eggs. I don't know how they've done that. That's amazing. It is time to go and get some lunch. I'm feeling hungry and ready. And I'm quite excited because we're going to Pret. And I love Pret. I've never had something in Pret that I haven't liked. My, one of my favourite things that they do is they do this like salmon bowl. And they also do this really good. It's um, olives. An avocado baguette thing so let's see what they're gonna give us for lunch I am shocked I I got so much then I like what the heck they've loaded me up this is enough for a whole family of four I can't wait what the heck I literally came in and I was like hi quick uh, two good to go bag and he went to the counter and he literally just started putting things in from the hot shelf um, so I've literally got one of everything. I'm quite excited. I'm kind of hungry, so I feel like I'm gonna go for this first. This is a falafel and halloumi wrap. I'm really in my halloumi era. I've never had this before. Okay, so we had our prep. I yammed that little falafel halloumi wrap. It wasn't that actually amazing, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like the flavor of it. I was hoping the halloumi would give more than it did. Um, but it filled a hole and there's still three things in the bag that I haven't I haven't actually peeked this time I promise um, and now we're going to apparently the smallest coffee shop in London and they have I'm gonna get my afternoon snack whilst I'm out and about so we can see what they've got I'm so intrigued about this smallest coffee shop I can't find it I have been walking around and around I'm wondering if it's actually downstairs in the actual tube bit I've literally been walking for about 20 minutes trying to find this. So I'm thinking the only place it must be 
because it must be. Oh, there it is. I knew it. I'm back from my excursion. Let me tell you, I'm a hot, hot mess. I obviously went to the tiniest coffee shop in London. I got my little bits and bobs from there, but that is gonna be for our dessert tonight. So you can't see what that is. They had two options. You could either go two cinnamon buns and a coffee, or you could go, oh. Pretend you didn't hear that, because I was just about to explain, but I can explain when I'm having my pudding, okay? So you can't see that. But what I can tell you is I asked them if I could get a hot chocolate instead of a coffee. I haven't had any yet because I wanted to do a live reaction. So here's the hot chocolate from the tiniest coffee shop in London. Oh, that's good. That's hot chocolate's going. That's a pretty good hot chocolate. Nothing like, oh, that's the most amazing hot chocolate I've ever had. But nothing like, that's an awful hot chocolate. It's just like a good, hmm, pretty good hot chocolate. Now prep, 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 prep have absolutely turned up. Obviously I had my falafel and halloumi wrap, but alongside that we have this, which this is a Swedish meatball hot wrap, Shuto macaroni cheese, which actually is my mum and my sister-in-law's favorite. Also given us the kale and red pesto mac and cheese. All of that was four pounds, which I'm not being funny, in prep you can get a drink for four pounds. So that is pretty amazing. Now I'm thinking, can I freeze these? I don't want them to go to waste, that's the whole point of this, but I feel like I can freeze them and then in the future I can have them, right? Now I have got to try them, haven't I? At the end of the day, this is what this is all about. See what it's like. So this is the veggie mac and cheese. Mmm. That is really flipping good, mac and cheese. That is, I feel like it should get some prizes or something. I'm gonna try a bit with the prosciutto. Adding that prosciutto as a whole other element, it's lovely and salty and crispy. Crap. I've never felt inclined to have the wraps. If I'm honest, it's looking a bit dry, a little bit, a little bit cardboardy. I'm just gonna break that off because that's literally like a cracker. I think I prefer that to the falafel one. The falafel one kind of had the flavoring of, you know when you have a ready meal and it has tomato in it, and it just has that sort of acidic, vinegary taste. And it feels like it hasn't been cooked properly. That's what the falafel one tasted like. It's dinner time, and I've got my dinner here, which is from that place, which I've never been to before. What I quite liked is it's a really big time span. So I think it was from like 2 p.m. until something quite late. So you don't have to rush, because that's the problem with a lot of these places. They'll have a time span of like 30 minutes. And if you're not there, that's it, your food's gone. Um, so you've got to really be careful. But this was the veggie option. And they literally, they didn't ask if you wanted anything. They just loaded it up with everything. So we've got falafel, but obviously you could get the meat option. Some little crispy potatoes, some rice, some red cabbage. I love red cabbage. I think there's another salad in there and then a jalapeno. I never know if it's jalapeno, jalapeno, whatever it is. So let's do a potato test first. I love little crispy potatoes. Oh, let's not forget, we've also got, I think this is some hummus. I wonder if this falafel will be as good as the falafel I had in Paris. If you haven't watched the Paris food tour vid, I had the best falafel of my life. Normally falafel can be quite dry, as we experienced earlier from prep, but, oh, I don't think that's falafel. What the heck is that? Let's try this with rice. I am going through a real moment with rice. I've never been a rice girl, it would be my lowest form of carb. But when I was away, I had this pilau rice and it's from the Delia Smith cookbook. It's absolutely changed my game. If you like rice, you need to cook the pilau rice. Is it pilau rice? From Delia Smith. Oh my goodness, sensational. And that's the only way I'll eat it now. I am loving this, this is delicious. This is a real good little dinner. It's got a little bit of everything. I love cabbage. I literally love these cabbage salad things that you get with things like this. Hey little guy, are you gonna be spicy or not? Like, I love the salty vinegariness of it. It kind of is like a pickle, like a spicy pickle. Everything that I got today, I would buy normally. 
It's just been treat after treat after treat. I can't stop eating potatoes. So I've had my dinner. It's been a while. And I'm now gonna have what I got from the tiniest coffee shop in London for dessert. First up is this orange juice. And the guy made it fresh in front of me. He goes like this, he puts the orange on and he presses it and he puts the orange on and he presses it. So this is like six oranges. So my vitamin C levels are gonna be through the roof. Um, I've been, I had it in the fridge, so hopefully it's cold now. Proper orange juice is a completely different thing to normal orange juice, isn't it? That is like cutting through all the like salty greasiness of those potatoes that I just ate. I wish they had those orange juice machines or I have in France and England, but alas, they don't. So for dessert, you we are gonna have a cinnamon roll. And they had lots of different cinnamon rolls, but I didn't want to be greedy and be like, can I have that one? So I just went with whatever one they gave me. But I think they had like chocolate cinnamon rolls. They had all sorts. So let's see how it is. It feels like it could potentially be a little bit dry. Like it just looks a bit dry and dense but it says they're baked every two hours but that is the thing when you're getting bread bits from too good to go they're often a bit dry because obviously it's the end of their life but zap it in the micro and it'll be fine but hey guys not great i mean i feel like you can see for yourselves like when i squish it this is how far it squishes when i'm pressing with all my might but at least we can wash it down with some orange juice. And this has been a roaring success. And I've had the best time. I just am constantly made by Too Good To Go. And I know I've done this video before, but I just feel like a little refresher. I did that about three years ago and everyone needs to know about it. Please let me know in the comments below any video requests you have. Because I'd love to see them. A lot of you guys requested me to do the Back in Time for History video. And I did that and you enjoyed it. So... If you let me know what videos you want to see, I'll do them. Because I like to make sure that I'm doing things you actually want to see. I love you guys loads. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Enjoy it. Unwind. Let your hair down. And just have a great time.